Hey guys, it's Franco from my IT and Cybersecurity Journey. I know I'm wearing a headset, but I'm working on the audio. This is probably the best form of audio I have right now. Uh, so I wanted to use it just because, you know, I know I know I can't sit through a video with bad audio quality, but, you know, I'm, I'm working on it until I can afford to buy a mic. So anyways, to give an update, um, a lot has happened since I last uploaded. Um, I've been, you know, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but it's because I've been busy. So, as you can see here, the last video I made, if I remember correctly, was on Critical Thinking on Logic, which was finished in about four hours. As you can see, afterwards I did Ethics and Technology. So, I'm going to go over the courses and tips I'd give to students um, when taking them. So, in regards to Ethics and Technology, when you go into Ethics and Technology on the right-hand side, there's going to be uh, a video library under the Announcement tab. Ethics and technology is really easy. It's like critical thinking and logic, just like that, in the sense that it requires just common sense to be, to be able to pass the class material. So what I would recommend, which is what I did, is I went through the, I followed the course instructions from the course instructor, which was to go into the video library under the announcement tab and just watch the videos and take notes on uh, the videos for the first four units. Write some acronyms. They have, there's a couple acronyms in there. You have to um, learn some of the fallacies and stuff. Um, and then take the, the pre-assessment. And depending on how you go, how it goes, you know, if you have to review something on the pre-assessment, um, just go ahead and review it. Um, with whatever result you get from the pre-assessment, you can just watch the watch the the, the, the videos um, over the sections that you were not competent or exemplary in. So, yeah, class was not that hard as you can see between critical thinking logic and ethics and technology. It took me two days um, to pass this class. So it was really easy. It requires common sense. Just take notes, learn all the fallacies. You'll get that out of the way. Now. In regards to fundamental, fundamentals of information security, um, currently I'm doing TriHack Me, so I bought a subscription with them. A lot of the stuff in fundamentals of, of information security is covered in um, TriHack Me's uh, Introduction to Cybersecurity uh, Learning Path. So this was very easy. Um, there was a little time gap there because I was doing things during the week. But real work time, it took me just under four hours to finish this course. Um, so yeah, just go through the course material, go through the videos, do some Try Hack Me. Um, I believe Try Hack Me has like a free cybersecurity learning path that you can do. Really easy and really simple. Um, I don't recommend you go through the reading material because like uh, the reading material is like when I went through it, I found it to be full of a lot of filler. So, if you want to get down to the nitty gritty, it's just you know just stick to try hack me and watch the videos. This one has video uh, video library as well, um, and take notes. So yeah, but besides that, uh, fundamentals of information security was really easy. Then there's legal issues in information security. This was a performance assessment, as you can see. This class, uh, I'm officially done with it as of today. I'm just waiting for them to evaluate my paper. So this class, um, what I would say is a lot. It took me about a week to finish. It's hard in the sense that you, it, you can get overwhelmed with it really quickly. But you can knock this out in eight hours or less if you really stick to it. I kind of slacked with it, um, so it took me about a week and three days, but total work time was probably like six hours. Um, regarding this class, depending on the course instructor, they will send you an email. Um, you're basically writing two, you have two tasks. Task one, you're writing like a report on the case study of like you're basically using everything you learned in ethics and technology and fundamentals of cybersecurity and you are writing 
it into an essay that shows that you understand the material. So some big points I would make for this are to learn your laws. So learn the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. Go on YouTube for that. There's you you there's a couple of videos which are really uh, really good. I think one of them was by a channel by the name of um, Red Team Cybersecurity. Learn the CPAA, so the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, um, and learn the ECPA, which is basically just an act that you know states that intercepting communications and um, without authorization and you know um, sharing those communications with another third party without authorization is illegal. Learn those three, and the ethic part that's task two. That's task one. Task one has to do with more laws and um, how those laws were broken. Task two deals more with the ethical side. Um, I found task two personally to be easier than task one because I knocked task two uh, quicker. Um, but it's really easy. The course instructor will send you videos that you can watch to follow along while you write the essay. That's what I did and that's what I would recommend you do. They will send you an email um, with the task resources so they'll give you templates um, I did mine in Microsoft Word, Word for both they give you templates all you have to do is fill it in put in your name and you can turn it in so and then just follow along with the task videos so that's for C4 C841 legal issues and information security definitely out of these classes it was the hardest because of the workload but I believe in you guys and you can do it now as of today I communicated with my um, program mentor to move more classes into my term because the way it works is these classes right here except for the orientation these four classes were in my original term she had set me up to where this was going to take me the, um, the the full six months but I did it earlier than that so um, you have to contact your course instructor and then all you basically do is you like slide the class over so you just move it in um, and then you create your own plan and then they just approve it so this will be my first I'm next is for me is business of IT applications which is if any if any of y'all don't know the ITIL certification so next time I make a video it'll go over this and what I did to pass it um, so yeah um, that's how those classes went um, if anyone in the comment section knows where I can find, I heard that there are notes for Jason Dion's, uh, Jason Dion's uh, ITIL out there for free that people have posted on Facebook groups, study groups. I tried looking for them, but I couldn't find them. So if anybody here in the comment section can comment down where they have found that, I would really appreciate it. But besides that, um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Since last I posted, I think we've gained like a couple, uh, a couple subscribers um, and for anyone new to the channel please like and subscribe um, if you guys think I could improve in any section of uh, the videos just let me know I really appreciate your guys' support and yeah keep updated because you know I'm, I'm here to help you guys uh, to show that it is possible to do this and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one bye